how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber god bless you i appreciate you much for your time for your support for the love but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends in our today's video you already know guys just by the title we are gonna be having a story time of a namibian lady by the name of rachel a single mother 45 years old who found love on online dating apps with an australian guy the guy's name is sebastian he is in his 50s we thought that rachel had found love on online dating apps actually i was getting ready to share her story <laughs> in the beginning when she told me that she found the one but unfortunately guys later on things started changing it really went so bad to an extent rachel lost her car in that relationship there is a lot that happened in that relationship guys and as someone who is on online dating apps searching for love we really have got a lot to learn from it but guys before i jump into today's story i want to make you understand this no matter this story did not work out but trust me on online dating apps exist good guys that right man only that is needed is for you to pick out the red flags in the early stages of your dating when you see red flags please don't be like i'm gonna change him he's gonna change you can't change a guy who is not ready to change so the better way is to end that relationship and keep moving forward never ignore the red flags because even rachel tells us she saw the red flags but ignored them and that's why that story ended badly and we are here to learn from her mistakes i'm not here to tell you this story to discourage you or to tell you don't go to on online dating apps because this will happen to you no it is to help you point out the red flags it is to help you shine your eyes so that you can find that right man that good man on online dating apps because it is possible guys very very possible you have seen in the success stories that i've been sharing how ladies found good good guys on online dating apps so this is not a discouragement video no we must shine our eyes so that you can find love this year 2023 so without wasting much of your time guys let us jump into our story so friends like i told you rachel is a single mother of one beautiful baby girl and that is where we are going to be starting our story from her past love relationship experience so that we can understand better this story and get close to rachel so guys rachel fell in love with a namibian guy who is the father of her baby girl rachel tells us she was crazily crazily in love with that guy but the guy was clear enough told her rachel i don't feel the same way as you feel but because rachel was so blinded by the love she felt for that guy <laughs> told herself i am going to get pregnant for this guy maybe it's gonna change the way he feels about me and i told you guys in the past that there is no guy who will ever refuse the goodies <laughs> never so this guy no matter he wasn't feeling that much rachel wasn't all that much into rachel but kept on taking the goodies because rachel was giving the goodies <laughs> yeah so rachel got pregnant for this guy thinking that he's gonna change gonna fall in love with her but after getting pregnant he did not change at all and rachel tells us 
when her baby girl was five months, this guy engaged another lady, a lady that that guy truly loved. Rachel felt so bad, felt like a loser, even fell into a depression due to that because she couldn't accept to see that guy with another woman. But it was what it is, Rachel had to accept by force and eventually was able to move on even if it was very, very hard for her. So friends, Rachel continued with her life, taking care of her baby, but at the same time, wanted to run away from everything, away from that guy. Yes, she lost the guy, the guy is with another woman, but couldn't erase everything that she felt in her heart. So as part of healing, wanted to just run away from Namibia, go to another country, start her life all over again. So she remembered had a chance childhood friend who was in Australia for so many years and decided to contact her, tell her everything and her desires to go out of Namibia. So after talking to this friend, Rachel was very, very lucky. That friend invited her to Australia for the first time. So guys, Rachel was really happy that a friend accepted to invite her to Australia and was ready to help her. Cause the friend told her, you first come here, see how life is, and then later on, we'll do all the process for you to come here. So Rachel went to Australia, stayed there for three weeks, and after three weeks, returned to Namibia. And then later on, they did the process, Rachel relocated to Australia. So friends, when Rachel relocated to Australia, started living with that friend that brought her in Australia, but this friend had helped her find a job. So she started working and was very, very excited for her new life in Australia. So guys, Rachel kept on working. Everything was going very, very good in her life. Now to her love life. <laughs> we need to know if Rachel has started dating anyone in Australia. Rachel tells us she worked for eight months and felt like was ready to fall in love again, be in a relationship with a guy. And at work, there was a guy who was really interested in Rachel, but Rachel kept on ignoring him because she was not ready. So after eight months, when she felt ready, decided to give a chance to that colleague who was really interested in her. And that colleague, Rachel tells us, he was Spanish, living in Australia with his sister. So guys, Rachel gave him a chance and they started dating. They were crazily in love with each other and because this guy lived with a sister, so he used to take Rachel at his sister's place. That is where they used to see each other, enjoy the goodies. <laughs> Because Rachel couldn't bring the guy to the friend's house. Remember, Rachel is living with her friend. So friends, they kept on with their love, seeing each other at his sister's place. And after one year and a half, Rachel was ready to have her own place and was super, super excited, started creating castles in the air of how she's going to enjoy with that guy in her apartment. He knows they're going to be free, free from the sister, free from the friend. <laughs> and by the way, she thought that guy was going to transfer and start living with her, you know, live together as a happy couple. <laughs> So guys, eventually Rachel got her own place, invited the boyfriend so the boyfriend could go, they could really enjoy <laughs> time together. But Rachel tells us this guy started being scarce, not like how she expected because for her she expected this guy is gonna be there with her. Whenever she needs him, he will be there. But that did not happen. This guy started ghosting Rachel. Even Rachel's friend told her, girl, this is so strange. This guy might be having another woman because this was the time for him to show you more love. You have 
have your own apartment but the fact he is avoiding you something is not right so rachel had to look for the truth and eventually discovered that that guy had another woman this guy was just a player and was only interested in the goodies <laughs> yes so friends when rachel discovered the truth that that spanish guy was just a player had to move on with her life but two months ago her friend had got married and she knew that the friend found the one on online dating apps so after her relationship with a spanish guy not working out the friend suggested to rachel that why can't you try on online dating apps you see i found a good guy and i am happily married better try your luck so rachel was super excited decided to join that dating app that i'm going to be sharing with you before i end this video because it is the app where rachel found the guy that we're gonna be talking about next so friends, Rachel's journey on online dating apps started 2019 December. That's when the friend encouraged her and decided to join. Tells us when she joined, the first few weeks, there was lots of traffic. She could receive lots of messages from different guys, but no one was serious. She kept on searching and searching and towards May 2021, had given up completely about online dating apps she was like no maybe i'm going to find someone in real life so decided to take a break from that dating app so friends after rachel taking a break on online dating apps tried to find love in real life yes she found a black guy in real life they dated for a while but later on it did not work out and they decided to go separate ways so after that relationship ended it was 2022 january when she was on youtube then youtube recommended my video so she watched that video and i remember she wrote a comment asking for my instagram handle which i responded and later on she contacted me on instagram so on instagram she told me her story of how she has been on online dating us for so long things have not been working out she tried in real life things have not been working out actually she was saying i am so unlucky when it comes to love i watched your video it encouraged me and i decided to contact you here on instagram so i told her you can give on online dating apps a try again and i am here to guide you but you will have to join my membership she told me bella i will join later on right now i am not in a better condition to do that but what i'm gonna do i am going to send something for sophie and later on i will join the membership when i can i told her it's okay Okay, don't worry thank you and if you guys are so attentive you can remember last year we were on the premiere and Rachel super chatted me $30 yes that was her so after talking to me decided to return to the dating apps and returned to the same dating app she was before but doing things the right way so friends rachel kept on searching me by her side guiding her and it went till may 2022 when she received a message from an australian guy who seemed very very serious because every question that Rachel could ask this guy, he could have an answer for that. <laughs> and guys, what I want to tell you, if you find such kind of a guy, it's a red flag. <laughs> you need to be very, very careful. <laughs> no matter how someone is intelligent, you can't be that prepared. <laughs> But this guy had all answers. So when Rachel told me about it, I told her, girl, now you should talk on how to meet because you tell me everything is tick, tick, tick. <laughs> yeah. So when they talked of meeting, this guy was like, let us meet in between because they lived different cities. But Rachel told the guy, no, you have to come to the city where I am living. Eventually the guy was like, it's okay, I'm gonna come. So they fixed their first meeting during the weekend when they're not going to work. 
So for the first meeting, I remember on my last video, there is one of my subscribers who asked me to do a video on how to dress on the first meeting. <laughs> if you're meeting your online boyfriend, <laughs> but even if it is an offline boyfriend, okay? <laughs> so I started giving Rachel tips on how to dress for their first meeting. I was like, girl, you should look presentable, look your best, you know, look for those beautiful, you know, dresses that, you know, snatches your body. <laughs> Not showing too much, but you know, a bit, showing your assets. <laughs> so Rachel was like, okay, I'm gonna order some dresses online. And yes, she ordered those dresses, then started putting on one by one, sending me the photos so that I can choose for the dress she will wear for that day. So she also went to the salon, did her hair, you know, all looking good, good, good. <laughs> for the first meeting. Then Friday came, but what was so surprising, this guy wasn't talking anymore about meeting, about him coming to see Rachel. So Rachel told me, I don't know, we have been chatting, yes, this guy is not talking about meeting, what should I do? I told her, ask him. And then when Rachel asked, this guy started coming up with lots of excuses, why he cannot come to see Rachel. Rachel was very, very disappointed. But again, I told her not to worry. And I was like, maybe this guy is one of those guys who always fantasize and wants their online girlfriend. Not interested meeting in real life. So I told Rachel, just move on. So after that relationship with a guy that could not make it to meet her, Rachel continued with her search, but even in real life, wanted to improve her life, so decided to take some IT classes. So dear friends, in July, Rachel received a message from an Australian guy, his name is Sebastian, 50 years old, and we thought this Sebastian is the one. So Sebastian started chatting with Rachel and was so open about his life, told Rachel he is divorced, has got two kids, living in his own house, has got a job, everything was really fine, they could video call, even one day video called and Rachel talked to Sebastian kids, greeted them. She was super, super happy that eventually has found a guy who is really interested in her. So Rachel too was so open to Sebastian, told him that she has got a kid back home in Namibia. Like I told you guys, when you're chatting with a guy, he is so open with you, you should also open up. So always go with the flow. And to add on that, if you are a single mom, it is good to always tell a guy that you have a kid. Never hide your kid. And tell him at the beginning of your relationship, that you are a single mother. If he is not a responsible guy, should run as early as possible <laughs> than you pretending you don't have a kid and later on things get serious. That is when you're like, let me open up and tell this guy that I am a single mother. No, that one say it at the beginning of your relationship. So Rachel did good to tell Sebastian about her kid. I know you all are going to be surprised, but after chatting for three days, Sebastian was ready to go meet Rachel for the first time. And when Rachel told me about it, I was like, oh my God, that is so fast. <laughs> But again, I was like, if they're in the same country, you know, there is no need to take long chatting and chatting before you meet. What is stopping you? <laughs> yes, they were living in different cities, but in the same country. So I was like, it's okay. <laughs> so dear friends, before Sebastian goes to see Rachel for the first time, I want to take you a little bit back two days before. <laughs> you know what? These people were really, really fast even their communication, <laughs> the things that they talked about, oh my God, these things, if it was me, I could discuss them maybe when I'm chatting with a guy for two or three months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Money talks, but Rachel tells us it was from Sebastian. He asked her if she needs some money, you know, help her around, pay some bills. <laughs> 
<laughs> a responsible guy. <laughs> that is how Rachel felt. So Rachel was like, I need to pay my rent in three months to come. So Sebastian was like, okay, no problem. Leave that to me. I'm going to help you pay for that rent. So let's go forward. <laughs> After three days, he was ready to go meet Rachel for the first time. And yes, booked a ticket, went to the city where Rachel was living. So as he was on his way, coming to see Rachel, asked her, is it okay with you if I stay at your place? And Rachel tells us because he had promised to pay her rent. She was like, it is his house too. <laughs> So after answering him, yes, you can come and stay here, he was like, oh my God, you don't know how much money you have saved me. <laughs> so at that time, Rachel's instincts deep inside her started thinking like, oh my God, I hope this guy is not broke. <laughs> You're doing me a favor, but ignored that and then wait for Sebastian. So Sebastian arrived, they were so happy to meet each other. He was supposed to stay for one week with Rachel. Rachel tells us they really enjoyed time together. He was super, super sweet, could treat her very, very nice. And after four days of staying together in the city where Rachel was living, Sebastian was like, it will be good if we take three days vacation in another city like a bikeation <laughs> rachel agreed to eat and they went on their bikeation enjoyed so much but one thing you need to know all the costs were on rachel because sebastian told her that the money that you had prepared to pay for the rent take a little and pay for this vacation because I'll be the one pay for that rent. So Rachel was like, it's okay. By the way, it's a three days vacation. <laughs> so she paid everything. Everything went super good. And then it was time for Sebastian to return to his city. So when Sebastian returned to his city, they kept on communicating. But I noticed some changes in Rachel, you know, we could always communicate, not every day, but at least three times a week. But this time, Rachel was so quiet, and whenever I could talk with her, she could talk on a lower voice. So one day I asked her, what's up? She was like, you know what? Sebastian is on the call. We talk day and night. He's connected on my laptop, and I'm speaking on a lower voice because of that. Because most of my calls have been connecting him too. So whenever I talk to my friends or my family members, I always connect him too so that he can listen. I was like, girl, really? Why did you do that? So she told me, you know, Bella, because of love, I was like, no, girl, no matter how much you love each other, you deserve a me time. Why connect him? I told her, you have started this relationship with the wrong foot. You can't do that. And it is better you stop that now. She was even like, he's going to ask her, whom was she talking to, why he was not connected. <laughs> Guys, do you see how you can put yourself in a trap in the name of love? Never do that. So I told her, do it now and tell him that you deserve your own time. You should voice up now. If you don't do it, then in the future, you can't voice up. You can't stand on your grounds. He will be like, why is that before you were like this and now you have changed? So start showing him that right now. And about talking day and night, I was like, girl, that is not a good sign. Even there is a documentary I watched whereby a lady could stay on the phone the whole night with a guy but it's not that the guy loved her no that guy was controlling her that guy never trusted her so he stayed on the phone to make sure that lady don't cheat on him no man comes at night <laughs> in her room so he could stay there even if the lady could go to the bathroom in the morning he could be like I had you walking. Where were you going? So the lady could tell the guy I was going to the bathroom. But later on, this guy went and started living with her and then discovered he was toxic. So that one was the red flag the lady was supposed to look into. 
so i explained everything to rachel that that is a sign a guy does not trust you and he wants to control you so rachel told me one scenario that one day was at work because this guy was always on the phone so the colleague was giving her the water and then the guy started getting jealous because he had the guy giving her water rachel was like thank you the guy responded that is how he came to know is the guy that gave her water <laughs> i told her you see this guy is trying to control you but girl wake up now as early as possible so from all this rachel tells you please me time is very very important never talk to a guy day and night just because you want to look nice and you want to keep on with this guy's addiction of staying on the phone day and night so i think we learned something here let's move forward <laughs> so friends the relationship continued Rachel promised me that she's gonna change the way she was doing things when it comes to communication. So she tells us one day they were talking and then Sebastian was telling her how the ex-wife has increased the price of the child support, was complaining about his job, oh he's not sure, he has got lots of problems at work, might lose his job and then Rachel told him remember about the rent. Then the guy started saying oh my god this is a huge blow for me, this is too much but because I promised you then I will stick to it so Rachel was like okay now I'm going to shower then go to classes remember I told you she was taking online IT classes so when Sebastian heard she's going to class he started acting up weird it's okay I'm telling you all my problems all you can tell me is you're going to classes okay good classes bye I see how you care so Rachel was so surprised was like this guy phoned me studying why is that he's not supporting me and he is not happy about me going to classes he even said that maybe I came into your life the wrong time because you are studying meaning he wanted Rachel to stop her studies and give all her time to him so in the end started manipulating Rachel was like you know what I know IT I'm gonna teach you IT and I want us to start living together I want to become a real estate agent so I want you to be with me in this journey and you are going to be surprised that Rachel believed him and dropped school and from these guys Rachel tells you that you should learn from her mistake when a guy finds you studying then he should be supportive if he really loves you but if your studies are not for a long period of time then finish studies then start dating but if they are for so many years like three years four years then yes you can look for love but that guy should support you and i am adding to this i've been advising most ladies who contact me on instagram that no matter how much you're in love with a guy you come first girl you come first don't drop everything that was going to improve your life and then go after a guy a guy that has not even put a ring on it a guy that has not shown any serious actions so friends to be honest she kept on telling me her worries of the things that worries her and one of it she was suspecting this guy might be financially unstable so i told her we can't just judge like that what you need to do this guy has come to visit you now it's a time to go visit him at his place while you are there you will discover lots of things that will tell you keep on the relationship or just stop it here because her being in another city and chatting with him in another city won't give her the real picture of how this guy's life is but if she goes there stays there for two or three weeks with this guy in his house she will get a clear picture so after telling her that she was like bella for now i don't have that money for the ticket go see him i was like he should pay girl he's your boyfriend so he should pay that ticket 
for you to go see his life was like Bella I have talked to him already about that but he told me if I go to visit him he won't let me come back I was like is he crazy why not let you come back he knows that you are working you have your job you have to be responsible him saying that that shows irresponsibility I still insist go see this guy she later on told me i've talked to my mom my mom told me it's okay as long as he is treating me good it's okay no need to go and guys i'm not going to blame her mother because her mom doesn't know anything of how online dating guys can be of how things should be done she's just an innocent mother who believed that guy because they also used to communicate and because this guy was so manipulative was also able to manipulate the mother to believe in him so she did not go to see his life so guys the relationship continued and i cannot sit here and tell you this guy was treating her bad on everything i'll be a liar yes sometimes sebastian could send her money for grocery he was so sweet he was always there giving her the attention that no man has ever given her and that's where the problem comes why am I saying it's a problem? You have been there searching for love. You have been through a lot in your love life. So when a man comes, it blinds you. You don't see the red flags due to the attention this guy is giving you. But I am here to shine your eyes. Please, dear ladies, no matter how much you are looking for a man who gives you attention, shows you with beautiful words all day long, watch the red flags. So their relationship continued and now Sebastian started talking again, Rachel leaving the city, the job, everything behind and follow him in his city. I want to ask you a question, you who is watching this video. Do you think it is a good idea for Rachel to leave everything behind and go live with this guy that she has never visited before? So guys, Sebastian told her that cause Rachel's lease for her apartment had remained like two months to finish. He told her, talk to those people, then you come here. When you arrive here, you will find another job and then pay that money. Not that Rachel was going to stay with him. He is the one supposed to pay that money. No, she's the one to go work and then pay <laughs> for an apartment that she left. Oh my God. <laughs> So eventually Rachel got manipulated and accepted what Sebastian told her, resigned from her job and had to sell her things that she worked hard for at a lower price. Some other things had to give them out. Sebastian told her, bring some things that I don't have them. So she only took the things that Sebastian needed and other things just gave them away. And I know guys will be like, how could she do that? <laughs> you are so angry at her. But again, Rachel tells us she thought it was love. She thought that guy truly loved her. So friends, the reason to why Sebastian told her to leave everything behind, it's because he never wanted to invest his money to transport her things. And that shows clearly he never had good intentions with her. But too sad, she did not see that. So guys, the day came and Rachel went to Sebastian's place. When she arrived, <laughs> something that is very funny but at the same time annoying. Sebastian had dogs and had told Rachel about it, but also Rachel told him that she is not a pet person, is <laughs> scared of the dogs. You know, guys, if you are African, if you know, you know. <laughs> Very few black African women that are not scared of the dogs. <laughs> yeah. So when she arrived at his place, found these dogs running after her and she was super terrified. Wanted to run. Then Sebastian started overreacting. He was like, I told you everything. I told you everything that I've got dogs. Stay right there. Don't run. Because if you run, they're going to bite you. Just 
pat them. <laughs> so she was like, why is he overreacting? For me, I know a man should protect me. So he was supposed to talk in a calm voice and it is my first day here. He is already mad at me. <laughs> what a welcoming. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, in the end, Rachel had to get used of the dogs and tells us Sebastian started treating her so nicely, just like a queen, bringing breakfast in bed for one week. So guys, after staying at Sebastian's place for two weeks, then Sebastian came with another idea. Told Rachel, it is good if you sell your car and I sell my car, we buy only one car to cut costs down. Because Rachel was in love, she thought it was a good idea, decided to take that decision, gave her car out to be sold. So she tells us her car was in a very good condition and after putting it out there, it started getting offers. Eventually they sold it and Sebastian told her that we have sold the car. But guys, attention, Rachel tells us, yes, the car was sold, but she didn't know how much it was sold. Sebastian told her that the price that the car was sold was able to pay off the debts because Rachel was still paying for that car and it had remained $15,000. So after Sebastian telling her that the money they paid, it was enough to pay off the debt, Rachel was happy and at peace, knew that Sebastian was going to take care of everything. So after three weeks of Rachel being at Sebastian's house, he started changing. But for me, I am going to say that he started showing his true colors. So this guy started complaining about money, everything money, money is going out, it's not coming in, you are not working. He wanted Rachel to start working immediately and help him out. But Rachel was still looking for a job and could not find any in that short period of time. So it became a very big problem. They could fight every day about money. He could say that he is spending a lot on grocery, something that he has never done in his life. Rachel reached an extent of being like, maybe I should start eating little. Maybe this guy is trying to insinuate that I eat a lot. Rachel started being scared of the guy because whenever they could fight, a guy could be high, 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 couldn't allow her even to talk. So she tells us he could be like, I don't want to go back there. I've been there. I know how it is. So Rachel could be like, why is he talking like that? But later on came to discover that that guy is good in fighting. He knew he was so good in fighting. That is why he could be like, I don't want to go back there. My blood pressure is so high right now. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, online dating apps. You can find even crazy people, just like Sebastian. So the guy had zero patience on everything. He could fight on everything. Later on, Rachel discovered that he had a girlfriend before whom they fought and her daughter was at home, had to call the police saying that her life is in danger because the dad was fighting a lot with the girlfriend. So guys, if you remember, I told you that him making her stay on the phone day and night was a very bad sign showing that he was toxic. So later on when she went to his place, so now she discovered the guy was toxic even in his past relationship. Something that really worried Rachel very, very much. So Rachel tells us Sebastian thought she was going to be his miracle worker on every problem. Never had any patience with her and was never understanding. So here she advises you that if a guy truly loves you, should be patient with you, should also be understanding with you. Just like I said in my last video that you have to give your a hundred and a guy should give his a hundred. Note you are giving a hundred, a guy is giving you fifty. Not at all. Something else guys, I noticed a very big change, not in a positive way, 
in a negative way towards Rachel. She changed very, very much. When I could talk to her, I could feel that she is very, very sad. She could talk on a lower tone because he even controlled her on who she talks with, even changed her phone number, bought her a phone. Then I'll tell you a story also about that phone. So whenever she could talk with me or any other friend, he could come and give her his phone be like, we are done with phones today. Oh my God, meaning you shouldn't speak with anyone. Stop using your phone. <laughs> what a relationship. So later on, I asked her, why were you so scared of that guy? She told me, Bella, the way he could treat me, the way he could be so mad at me all the time, I started being scared of him. Do you know when you're at home and you know your mother is about to come back home, <laughs> the way you get scared, that is how I used to get scared when this guy could be coming back home. Oh my God, that is not love at all. If you're dating a guy and you feel such kind of way, Dear sister, better end that relationship as early as possible because you need to feel safe. You need to feel protected with your man. You need to feel at peace and happy when you see your man not feeling scared. So friends, really a lot happened in their relationship, but this last thing made Rachel to run away immediately because she came to find out this guy was using drugs. She could see him lighting up some gas, putting a tin, you know, very, very weird thing. And from there, she was like, no, I am in bad hands. It's time for me to run before things get worse. So she talked to me and was like, Bella, I am not spending any other more night here. I must run. I must find a way. Before that, she had told him that, you know what? I can't handle this. This relationship has to end. And he told her that if this relationship ends, you are not obligated to your car because you sold off your car. So friends, two days before Christmas, Rachel had to call her friend who brought her to Australia and ask for help because she had nowhere to go. Remember, she gave out her apartment and everything in that apartment and doesn't have a job. After talking to her friend, her friend was like, it's okay, you just come here. So as I'm talking right now, Rachel has started all over again. She is at her friend's place looking for a job. It is so, so sad how a man can destroy your life. That is why I'm telling you, dear beautiful ladies, be very careful. No matter how you are desperately looking for love, shine your eyes, watch the red flags. Because if Rachel had gone to Sebastian's house to visit, see his life, she could have discovered some things and end the relationship just right there. So when she left the house and he came back, found out that she wasn't there, started calling her mother, tell Rachel to return my iPhone. Because when he changed her number, changed her phone too. So she thought that phone was bought with love, but the truth is, no, it wasn't bought with love. It was just a sort of controlling her. You know, you are under me. You should use a different number and use this phone. <laughs> so he asked for his phone. He the mother, tell your daughter to return my phone immediately. Because I want to return that phone, to the shop and cause Rachel never wanted fights with him, though she left all her things at his house, had to also post that iPhone to Sebastian. But if it was me, Bella, <laughs> he was not going to get that phone. I tell you guys. So guys, about the car, Rachel came to discover that her debt for the car is going very, very higher which means sebastian never paid even a coin so because sebastian works in a car dealing company that is where rachel's car was sold had to call his boss and he was like he's gonna take care of that but i've been communicating with her she has been telling me that 
her debt is going very very higher and remember she doesn't have a job they keep on promising her they're going to pay off the car they're going to pay off the car but they haven't paid off the car which is worrying her very very much and that means she has lost her car just like that so with this rachel advises you never make big decisions without thinking well ask questions ask for advice so that you can make the right decision imagine this guy never engaged her never married her but took her car just like that guys i am ending this video by saying let us watch the red flags do not ignore the red flags because the time you're spending to search for the right guy then you find a guy a guy puts you to zero because that's where Rachel is. She has returned to zero. It's not right, guys. It's not right at all all that is why i am insisting watch the red flags so that you can find the right guy so friends this has been so long i have a lot to say but let us end it here which kind of a dating app did they meet on they met on tinder dear friends we have reached to an end of our today's video thank you so much for watching till now be blessed Please, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are super good. Comment below what you think about this video. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.